Okay, hi. Um, so I've been really needing to meditate recently and I hadn't actually in a while and just felt yesterday to do that. And um, taking a break in my day now and um, just doing this and getting really still. Um, and I hope if you need this and you're watching this helps you. So I'm in the sun, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this with the shades on, but um, So just deep breaths. Try to feel them in my belly with that. The belly breaths. this um, peacock's or crystal that I'm going to channel and I feel that that's aligned your chakras I feel that with it. and so with channeling that I hold the crystal in my in my hand or in my fingers and just try to feel the energy in it really get quiet with it and then bring that into my body and try to match the vibration and so when people talk about clearing energy it's you hold an energetic vibration and change your vibration to 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 that. So anything that is is denser or distracting, you feel clearer afterward, or you feel that divide with it, and can then um, transmute that in your system.
chakra. So this happened more, I guess you would say spontaneously in my life where I, well, I, I had, I had a, a few things occur in 2017 and I started waking up and I was having, I would sleep and there wouldn't be dreams or, the, or when I had them, they were really um, vivid and seemed to, to like a theme that I've seen over and over again. And, um, oh, I just lost my share about something related today. That's funny. Um, huh. And you, I would maybe, this is universal, I, I kept seeing three. Like, it was like there were three of me, though, um, which you, you think of different themes with. And so, um, And then I also had, um, I was waking up and like in the morning and I would, I would be doing this, like I, I was feeling some anxiety. So I, I had done automatic writing before and I would write numbers. Um, and I was like, I would write three digit numbers and I was like flipping the middle number and reversing the two and, and flipping them. And I don't know why, but this helped with something and it, it's, it's related or it was in a way to how I, um, there is to how I started when I started doing healings and facilitating healings what I was seeing and experiencing energetically um, and started looking up as well a lot with um, clathrins and their role in the body as the uh, 3d representation too of the Triskelly symbol which is um, also three um, it's in every culture um, is something to look up um, I, I have one on my Instagram account and just with all of this I think maybe because my body was healing, because I was having new experiences, um, it felt really important. And it was like every morning I would wake up and do, do this for like an hour or two to ground my system. Um, and there was just, I think I was in a different place and what I was going through, there was so much energy running through my system. Um, I had a selenite crystal and I had a, a um, fluorite crystal. And the fluorite crystal, I think it, it literally I was using them to meditate with it it changed color during the course of this it, it became like darker like and I, I think I have the selenite one actually broke and like I I start I it's like I was on living on the big island of Hawaii in Kona um, and all of this it was just there I just was aware of more energy running through my nervous system um, I felt something actually when we had I believe the solar eclipse in 2017 um, and so, man, I should have been in the boba then. Um, just adjusting something in my energy field. I wonder what that would look like. Um, just having new experiences with energy, and then also having um, when I started being able to um, see, like, if someone had an injury, see. Um, the injury in the body almost like an x-ray um but i i didn't know all the anatomy um but seeing seeing that seeing what the issue is and also seeing like a video of what happened to the person so they got the injury so i remember um there was a i think the uh, iron man on um on big island i went to watch for a bit and the police officer i'm talking to him um and he'd his he'd hurt his leg and i was like oh yeah i can i can see it um and it was like, oh yeah, you were running, like you twisted it inward, right? And he was like, yeah, how'd you know? And it was like, oh, I'm seeing a video of this and felt this energy in my, in my hands. And I was like, okay, can I put, if I put my hand like near your, now I say near, near your knee. Um, but this, this wasn't for money. There's laws with this in Massachusetts, at least, but I think everywhere. If you're not a licensed massage therapist, you cannot touch people when you're doing energy work. Um, but this wasn't for my so I just asked him can like can I if, do you want me to try to help I have I've been having these experiences 
He was like, yeah, okay. Um, and so I felt all this energy run through my hand and um, to his knee and it he then was like, yeah, it, it started feeling better. And um, I was seeing, it was the first time I was seeing like an almost not an x-ray because it was the, I think the muscle of the tendon just inside of the knee. And I had these experiences happening. Um, and so I have my hand there now and running energy through my system. Um, but to me that, so the, the knees symbolize different things. Um, I think each one, one like pride and humility. And so I'm thinking of those themes when I'm running it, not a physical knee pain. And um, there's different systems that look at how all this is intertwined. Um, Louise Hay has, has her writing and her work. Um, body talk, I don't know as well, but I, I wonder if it's the same. Um, and medical intuitives look at this as well. Uh, there's different systems with that. Um, and with all of this, Carolyn Miss is someone great to check out as well. But so feeling that in my system. So with that story and with all of it, I started just feeling more energy running through my system and have since then just learned to open up to it and run that through my nervous system. Um, it typically like when I open up psychically in a reading or to um, for a mediumship session, session or um, to do intuitive work. And so that's what I'm, I'm doing now. Um, so opening up the, the channel that runs through our bodies to receive energy and then flowing that into my system. And it's, I feel an opening with my chakras. Um, so they run from the back to the front, but releasing, I guess, this way. And also, hmm, yeah, running more than that. Well, centrally as well. Um, and I took different courses with how you learn to visualize and open and close your chakras. Um,
Um, but also. Pressure point that I believe I'm pressing on. I'm not a licensed acupuncturist, but for the this one's actually on the outside for the heart. Uh, but I watch on the inside of my hand. I felt uh, like a pain when I tune into my body, so putting pressure there. Just doing a quick body scan. So imagine with your consciousness traveling through your body. Like water flowing through you and just check if there's anything that feels like it. It's a block in your energy. And just that 
stay visual with it. You don't have to be attached to anything you see. If you, if you get curious, you can look up dream psychology um, or maybe look up the symbolism of it with dream meanings, if it's an animal, spirit animal meanings. But, um, and it, it, can be, it can be fun and interesting, just like having psychic visions. And then at a point, just I try to, to, to let it go. Um, but those, those can have meaning for us as well, so. I know for me it can be interesting to see all that and learn more about your psyche and especially explore with the therapist, um, with the healer, and then at some point too to, to let it go and come back to center is that's why I meditate and that's what I try to do. Um, that said, there's so much from journaling and from paying attention to what you see that you can learn about your own brain and subconscious and consciousness and how you interpret interpret reality and have your own system with it. Um, it's one of the ways that I get psychic communication and I just I try to remember, okay, that's my filter. So I could be seeing an image that if you apply it to an event or a situation, it's your filter on that. And so you have to know yourself and know your own filters. Um, and it's still, it's, it's fascinating for a while and um, can be. And just, you know, like knowing you can let it go too. And for me, but okay, you can let all that go. And especially if you've had trauma, like you are safe and you don't have to know what it all means or use that, but just it's this insight as well as really, um, that's where I try to go to. Um, that said for years when I was healing, it was looking at this and thinking, oh, huh, I didn't know that that situation or even if it was said to be like a past life, let's say that archetype of consciousness or that what that lifetime represents, even if it's not attaching a past life to it, but that experience, what does that mean and where am I experiencing that in my life? And it, the very real impact of those themes, those, those, you know, those lives, let's say, or consciousness in my life, how what is that and why is it, why is that catching my attention? And that's the learning part with it. So, the meaning with it and then too, knowing okay, you know, that's why I say see a doctor as well. If you're looking at a lot psychically, I, I know it's, I've had my experience recently where having um, pain symptoms and was, was noticing my thoughts and my thought patterns for a while were just, um, I was noticing I, I was like ruminating on things more than I, I knew I wanted to and I, I was listening to my thoughts and just like oh this is this is going on longer than I typically do um, and then and, and taking something for that um, so and just how much it, it helped and that I really needed it versus working through everything um, I just want to say that as well you know you never know what people are going through this is not a substitute for licensed medical attention nor mental health attention um and i work so i work energetically and intuitively and believe in western medicine functional medicine um see doctors and and think if you're working with me even you definitely should be doing that as well and it's not this is all legally entertainment um so if you have a great outcome great and see your doctor see a licensed mental health professional medical professional Especially if you have anything new surfacing, get you know get a checkup, um, have someone look at that. A medical intuitive can look at okay that beyond just looking at archetypes and themes and well beyond um, what they see in the body psychically, um, they can say depending on their training. Okay, that have you looked at um, you know like not as good as you're but you know have, have you had um, But like, have you had this test at your doctor's, let's say, or it looks like when I'm looking at your body that there, there's some issue, like with this, have you had this test run? And give information like that, but it's, it's all entertainment daily. Um, in California, if you have a master's in intuitive medicine, you can practice in a doctor's office.
this. I do not have it. Um, someone that I was a client of, Deborah Kremens, does. Um, and she is great if you want to look up her website. Um, I think it's intuitionmed.com. Um, Deborah and then Kremens, K R E M I N S, as well as someone to look at. So it says 27 minutes, give, give or take, with me talking and settling in. Um, but I, I just kind of felt like, okay, I'm, I'm good with like with this and with meditating, and was out here and was kind of wondering, you know, how long is this going to be? Do I need just like some short tune into myself, or just? And so if you um, had any thought service and you're a bit out of body or even just tuning in at a level that you feel like you need to make an adjustment, come back to your body and just become fully present in the mode you need to go and move on to the next phase of your day. some grounding energy. And thank you for joining me. Um, and I hope people have a good rest of their day. Yesterday just felt fantastic. Thank you. I hope people enjoy these when I share.